Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes China buyout firm Ascendant offers $1.6 billion for Holocease. Hilton Grand Vacations to buy Blue Green in $1.5 billion deal. Stock market news today, stocks rise with Fed hopes still in play. ChatGPT maker OpenAI hosts its first big tech showcase as the AI startup faces growing competition. Walt Disney Company names PepsiCo's Hugh Johnston as chief financial officer. China buyout firm Ascendant offers $1.6 billion for Holocease. Bloomberg. China-focused private equity firm Ascendant Capital Partners has made a $1.6 billion takeover bid for Holocease automation technologies. Ascendant Capital Partners has become Holocy's largest shareholder after purchasing shares in the market. The firm has proposed an all-cash offer of $26 per share, representing a 26% premium to Holocy's closing share price on November 3. Holocy's provides integrated solutions for industrial automation and rail transport. Shares of Holocy's rose as much as 7.8% in early New York trading. Ascendant Capital Partners has requested that an extraordinary general meeting be held no later than December 1. Hilton Grand Vacations to buy Blue Green in $1.5 billion deal. Bloomberg. Hilton Grand Vacations has agreed to acquire Blue Green Vacations in a $1.4 billion all-cash deal, which will see Hilton Grand Vacations boost its resort portfolio to nearly 200 properties. The transaction is expected to close in the first half of next year. Stock market news today, stocks rise with Fed hopes still in play. Yahoo! ChatGPT maker OpenAI hosts its first big tech showcase as the AI startup faces growing competition. Associated Press. Artificial intelligence company OpenAI will hold its first developer conference, inviting hundreds of software developers to the event. The conference will showcase OpenAI's generative AI tools, including its latest large language model GPT-4, its chatbot ChatGPT, and its image generator DALI. OpenAI has previously received attention for the potential risks of its technology leading to an executive order from U.S. President Joe Biden requiring companies to share information with the government about AI systems that could pose serious safety risks. Walt Disney Company names PepsiCo's Hugh Johnston as chief financial officer. Associated Press. The Walt Disney Company has announced the appointment of Hugh Johnston as its new chief financial officer. Johnston, who has been PepsiCo's CFO since 2010, will replace Kevin Lansbury effective from December 4. Johnston has also served as a member of the boards of both Microsoft and HCA Healthcare. Inflows into India Link ETFs set to smash 2014 record. Reuters. India focused exchange traded funds, ETFs, listed on US exchanges are on track for their best year on record, as investors seek an alternative to China. Net inflows in India focused ETFs have reached $2.4 billion this year, dwarfing the last two years. The Wisdom Tree India Earnings ETF and the iShares MSCI India ETF have seen the greatest inflows so far. The slow motion crisis in commercial real estate. Bloomberg. Commercial real estate has been hit hard by rising interest rates and changes in working patterns brought on by the pandemic. As property prices fall, landlords are finding it harder to borrow and refinance loans, leading to a potential crisis in the industry. Office buildings have been particularly affected as remote working reduces demand for centralized workspaces. Some landlords are considering converting buildings for residential use, while others may be forced to hand properties back to lenders. The situation is worse in Europe, where lower yields and a larger stock of empty buildings have led to greater price declines. Sunak plots traps for labor in King's speech, geared to election. Bloomberg. UK King Charles III will launch Rishi Sunak's bid to keep the Conservative Party in power at the opening of Parliament. With the Labour Party leading in the polls, Sunak will use the King's speech to persuade voters that the government is pursuing policies they want, particularly in areas such as energy, crime, and housing. The announcement that the UK plans to mandate annual licensing rounds for North Sea oil and gas is one example, creating a clear dividing line with Labour, which has pledged to ban new licenses and focus on renewable energy. Opening. Dr. Six here, your friendly neighborhood observer from the Six Degrees world. I hope you're all doing well and ready for another round of news updates. As always, I'm here to bring you the latest happenings from around the globe. So let's dive right in. Summary. 
In today's news, we have a mix of business deals, stock market updates, tech showcases, executive appointments, and interesting trends. China-focused private equity firm Ascendant Capital Partners has made a $1.6 billion takeover bid for Holacy's automation technologies. Hilton Grand Vacations is set to acquire Blue Green Vacations in a $1.4 billion deal. U.S. stocks rose as investors hope for an end to tightening by the Federal Reserve. OpenAI, the AI startup behind ChatGPT, is hosting its first developer conference. Walt Disney Company has named PepsiCo's Hugh Johnston as its new CFO. India-focused ETFs are seeing record inflows as investors seek alternatives to China. Commercial real estate is facing a slow-motion crisis due to rising interest rates and changing work patterns. And finally, UK Chancellor Rishi Sunak is using the King's speech to set traps for the Labour Party ahead of the next election. Deep dive. Let's take a closer look at these stories, shall we? Starting with Ascendant Capital Partners' bid for Holacy's Automation Technologies, it seems like the private equity firm is aiming to expand its footprint in the industrial automation and rail transport sector. The proposed all-cash offer of $26 per share represents a 26% premium, which indicates Ascendant's confidence in Holacy's potential. If the deal goes through, it could have a significant impact on both companies' future growth and market positioning. Moving on to the hospitality industry, Hilton Grand Vacations' acquisition of Blue Green Vacations is a strategic move to strengthen its resort portfolio. With nearly 200 properties under its belt, Hilton Grand Vacations is positioning itself as a major player in the vacation ownership market. This deal could open up new opportunities for both companies to tap into the growing demand for leisure travel, especially as the world slowly recovers from the pandemic. Now, let's talk stocks. After recording their best week this year, U.S. stocks continued their upward trajectory, fueled by hopes that the Federal Reserve will ease its tightening measures. The Nasdaq Composite led the charge, showing that tech stocks are still in favor among investors. It's a promising sign for the overall market, but as always, we'll have to keep an eye on how things unfold. Shifting gears to the world of artificial intelligence, OpenAI is hosting its first developer conference, where it will showcase its latest AI tools. The spotlight will be on GPT-4, ChatGPT, and Dolly, all of which have garnered attention for their potential applications and risks. It's an exciting time in the AI space, but it's also important to address any safety concerns and ensure responsible development and deployment. In executive news, Hugh Johnston's appointment as the new CFO of the Walt Disney Company brings a fresh perspective from his experience at PepsiCo. Johnston's background in finance and board memberships in Microsoft and HCA Healthcare make him a valuable addition to Disney's leadership team. We'll be watching closely to see how his expertise contributes to Disney's financial strategies and growth plans. Now, let's talk about a fascinating trend in the investment world. India-focused ETFs listed on U.S. exchanges are experiencing record inflows, as investors seek alternatives to China. This shift in interest reflects changing dynamics in the global economy and investors' search for new opportunities. It's a reminder that diversification is key when it comes to investment portfolios, and India seems to be catching the eye of many. Turning our attention to the commercial real estate sector, it's no surprise that the industry is facing challenges due to rising interest rates and remote work trends. As office spaces become less in demand, landlords are finding it harder to borrow and refinance loans. Some are exploring alternative uses for properties, while others may have to hand them back to lenders. This situation highlights the need for creative solutions and adaptation in a rapidly changing landscape. Lastly, let's delve into UK politics. Rishi Sunak's use of the King's speech to lay out the government's agenda is a strategic move ahead of the next election. By focusing on areas such as energy, crime, and housing, Sunak aims to appeal to voters and create a clear contrast with the Labour Party. The announcement regarding annual licensing rounds for North Sea oil and gas is a prime example of this tactic. It's a calculated move that highlights the importance of framing policies to resonate with the electorate. Closing. And there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of today's news. From business deals to stock market updates, tech showcases to executive appointments, and trends in investment and politics, there's never a dull moment in the world of headlines. Now, it's your turn. What are your thoughts on these stories? Do you see any potential opportunities or risks in the business deals? Are you optimistic about the stock market's performance? How do you feel about the growing interest in India-focused ETFs? And what do you think about the challenges facing the commercial real estate industry? I'm all ears, so share your ideas and questions with me. Remember, folks, the world keeps spinning, and the news keeps flowing.
so stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned for more updates from the Six Degrees world. Until next time, this is Dr. Six signing off. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.